we are in the last 10 days of Ramadan now and there is less than a week for Ramadan to end and a lot of individuals are engaging in acts of ibadah, in acts of worship while all this is great I feel that this does not bring about real transformation because whether it's a few days after Ramadan, one week after Ramadan or one month after Ramadan depending on different individuals people go back to their original condition people go back to their status quo the question arises why this is the case The question arises why this is the case. What happens to majority of us is that we get influenced by the external factors and external factors wear down and we go back to our original condition because during Ramadan we see a lot of posts that deal with increasing our ibadah that encourages us to do more good deeds islamic reminders and there are so much of online islamic webinars that are happening even apart from the digital influences that affect us we see people around us who are reciting more quran who are praying tarawih all these influences us so naturally because your external environment has changed for ramadan it affects you it influences you and you change yourself but it is momentary you're changing whether you realize it or not to fit in and most of the time this change is not done consciously there is no real thought process happening in our head so I was thinking about this and I came up with an analogy and I want to share it with you so imagine that there is the sea and there is the shore and the horizon the transformed life that you like to live where you are more intentional and you're practicing mindfulness you're working on your goals you're connected to Allah the Quran all this lies beyond the horizon so what happens during Ramadan is because of the external influences we get swept away towards the horizon where our destination lies away from our show and once Ramadan is over the wave pushes us back to the show and this is because we are not really putting any internal thought but we are in autopilot mode if we have to bring about real transformation then it has to happen from the inside whether or not external influences are present and when the transformation happens from the inside, you have the sincere intention after Ramadan, even if the wave is pushing you towards the show, you are aware of the destination being beyond the horizon, so you will consciously start swimming towards it and inshallah, eventually you will reach your destination. We all know that the number one purpose of Ramadan is to help us develop taqwa. And what did Prophet wasallam say about taqwa? He said, taqwa ha huna, pointing at his chest. So we are talking about transformation rooting from the inside where we make the conscious decision to live a life in which we are more mindful of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is what taqwa is all about so before I end I want to share you the number one way in which you can develop taqwa and that is through your connection with the Quran I'm not talking only about reciting the Quran but more so about understanding the Quran this way we can trigger our transformation not by external influences that die down but we are talking about change rooting from knowledge. So the takeaway from this video is during this Ramadan, especially the last 10 days, don't just focus on reciting the Quran, but make sure you allocate some time to understand the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so we can know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala better and bring about a sustainable, long-lasting transformation in our life that will bring us to success in this world and the next and all rooting from a place of knowledge. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Assalamu alaikum.